Are you supposed to be communicating my information to other people? I can say whatever I want, man. Dude. Quit talking to us while we're doing our investigation, okay? I can talk all I want. If you keep distracting us from our investigation, we're Guilt to arrest, okay? So if I keep talking, I'm, I'm going to get arrested? Talk, 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 talk. Stop that! Shine the flashlight in our eyes again. While we're doing this investigation, you're going to jail for delaying. Take your hand off your gun, Narcini. That is the only, only warning. Suck. Oh, 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 oh. Grace, you're under arrest. <laughs> it is. No, that actually looks like Nardini. It is little Nardini. Did he become a sergeant? We know Nardini. Are you supposed to be communicating my information to other people? I can say whatever I want, man. You can say my name to other people? Yeah, I can. Yeah? So I'm in the middle of an investigation. Sure? So hey. I, I called for this, dumbass. All right. Hey. Just let, let us do our investigation. Shut the fuck Appreciate up, dude. Quit talking to us while we're doing our right, investigation, like, okay? I can talk all I want. Right. All I want. Where's the supervisor at? Call your supervisor out. He's the supervisor. Right here. Call the lieutenant. I want Giltonen out right. here. Listen, Giltonen. Right. If you keep distracting us from our investigation, we're going to arrest, okay? You're going to arrest me for calling you for a drunk driver. Call Giltonen out here. Hey, it's uh, Sunday. I don't know Sunday? It's, Sunday? it's Saturday morning. Sunday oh, morning. Oh, Sunday morning. Call the LT out here. You've been recording all this, right? Stay here with me. He just threatened to fucking arrest me. All of his bottles are in the other parking lot over there. Yeah, you got me? So if I keep talking, I'm, I'm going to get arrested? Talk, 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 talk. Call the LT out here, requesting the supervisor. Stop that! Shine the flashlight in our eyes 
playing our eyes again. Well, we're doing this investigation. You're going to jail for delivery. Take your hand off your gun, Nardini. That is the only, only one. Suck my need. balls. Take Suck my balls. Take your hand off your gun. For what? What did I just do? Put your hand on your back. My hands behind my back. Thank you, Nardini. You did it again, dumbass. Call your supervisor out. There is no more supervisor. The LT. You have an LT. <laughs> I'm not drunk. That means I'm not drunk. the car. Hey, give me my keys. That's good. Bye. Stop bending my wrist, dude. I'm trying to get my keys out. Okay, stop reaching. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, fix the car, spread your feet. You sure you want to do this? Yep, sure right. you're done. Spread your feet. I gave you a warning, you kept doing it. For running around you? No, we're trying to flashlight in our eyes while we're trying it to do an investigation. Even in your eyes. I, got it on video. I know you do. Section 22-6, hindering, interfering with police. A, no person shall willfully interfere with, hinder, delay, obstruct, molest, or threaten to molest any police officer in the exercise of their duty or refuse to obey any lawful order issued by a police officer. B, a person who commits violations of this section shall be guilty of a class one misdemeanor. Code 1976, 21 to 12, ordinance number 0201, 8.02, 1-18-18. State law reference. Now, this is important because they are basing the formation of this city code off of established ARSs or Arizona revised statutes that have been in place for a long time and have been codified and are constitutional. Now, what they're basing it off of is obstructing governmental operations, which is Arizona Revised Statute 132402, and resisting arrest, Arizona Revised Statute 132508. Now, let's have a look at those because they're very important. What you're reading above is extremely overbroad and arbitrary. Those words have different meanings depending upon the person, and they're not constitutional. This can apply to a whole bunch of scenarios that are not constitutional. The Arizona Revised Statutes for what they're basing this off of are constitutional and to the point. To obstruct, delay, or resist a police officer, you have to use force or threaten to use violence of physical force or nature. There has to be a physical element or a verbal threat of violence. Now let's go into the ARSs that they're basing this off of. All right, now let's have a look at Arizona Revised Statute 132402, Obstructing Governmental Operations. A, a person commits obstructing governmental operations if by using or threatening to use violence or physical force. Such person knowingly obstructs, impairs, or hinders. Now there are classifications down at the bottom on what they hinder and who they apply to which is the end of the Arizona Revised Statute classifications. But A is the primary one you want to look at here. A person commits obstructing governmental operations if by using or threatening to use violence or physical force, such person knowingly obstructs, impairs, or hinders. By threatening to use violence or physical force, or by using violence or physical force, now, there's a verbal and a physical element. If you threaten somebody with violence, 
you're creating alarm and you're inciting panic in that person that they might have to react to immediately, which is not protected speech. You can't threaten to harm anybody or you can't threaten violent acts. And you obviously can't use physical force to stop a police officer. Now, definitely running around with a flashlight does not apply to any of these. But let's have a look at resisting arrest. Maybe he got it right there. This one's pretty good too. Arizona Revised Statute 132508, Resisting Arrest, Classification and Definition. Now, he wasn't arresting anybody, so this really wouldn't apply, but we'll read it anyway. A, a person commits resisting arrest by intentionally preventing or attempting to prevent a person reasonably known to him to be a peace officer acting under color of such peace officer's official authority from effecting an arrest by, one, using or threatening to use physical force against the peace officer or another. There's that physical force and the threat of it again. Two, using any other means creating a substantial risk of causing physical injury to the peace officer or another. Yeah, that definitely doesn't apply with a flashlight unless your eyeballs hurt. Three, engaging in passive resistance. That would apply to somebody being arrested. All right, so to give you a better understanding, the city code of Tempe is based off of two Arizona Revised Statutes that have been in place for a long time. Both of those revised statutes have to do with the use of physical force, physical violence, or the threat of physical force or violence. That's it. You have to threaten to use violence or use physical force to impede an officer or delay him. You can't do it with your words, and you definitely can't do it with a flashlight or jogging in circles around him because he's, you know, a dog that has the attention span of a squirrel. Hey, buddy. Hey, Clarence. Clarence, can I just step back and require man? Thanks. Hey, when this is done, call uh, everybody. Can you give him my keys, please? Sure. I am releasing my keys to him, Curtis, please. Okay. Hey, keep facing forward for Sorry. me. You ain't got nothing in there. Uh, I still gotta check, you know that. Is my GoPro too? Yeah, what all, what all do you want me to have? Everything? Yeah.
you want him to have everything, right? Everything. Alright, only thing that's gonna go with you is your ID. Start me another report for uh, subject stop for delaying of trucks and copy 2729 for corrupt. And if you can just put the order time that I called out on the last call on the uh, subject stop, I would appreciate it. So that's all this stuff, the, the magnet, it's in here too. All right. Okay, it's just not attached to the GoPro. Right. Okay. I'm right here in the loop. That's evidence. It wasn't even in his eyes, you clown. You need to wait here for your supervisor. Stop dude, me. you need to fucking back Stop the fuck up, me. dude. You keep walking up on me like that, you're gonna go to jail. For I'm not what? Joking. It's not illegal to follow you. Oh, Name an ARS. 22-6, Tempe City Code, Delaney of Trucks. Do you wanna go back either We're behind that van or... What's that? We're getting close to Yeah, you're, you're in my scene, my friend. So if you can back Stop up for me. Stop getting close to me. Back up, you're in my you scene. You got me like backed up against the wall right now. Yep, so you, so you can go that way. Go back that up. Way. Officer Nardini, two 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 seven zero. So I'm going to give you a warning. Your if you don't back up, I'm going to arrest you for delay and obstruct. Delay and obstruct. Yes. So you would abuse your authority if I exercise my right. Whatever. I don't personally care what you sentence me to. I'm appealing everything today, so it's going to freeze whatever you sentence me to, and we're just going to kick it to a higher court. Because clearly this one is corrupt. They turn in our communities to hot blocks. Crazy. Yeah, they got glocks, handcuffs, and badges. They swear that they hot shots. Oh, they want to lock us and throw away the stop. Watch, what? you know, direct deal. Show you how to cop. Direct. Watch, cop, watch. Record them when a cop stops. Ah. And ignore the pig chatter when a cop talks. You don't need a top notch camera, just a cop nah. watch. You gotta know your rights or you lose them. So we cop, watch.